Greetings everyone, my name is Eckerville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Super Danny Powered Up. In the last part, I completed the first Wally Castle, and now I'm moving to the final Wally Castle. Yep, this game takes some strides from Mega Man 4, 5, and 6 in the sense that we have two Wileys, or fortress stages. Now, time to visit Wily's actual castle. Whereas the first Wily castle was based off of custom bosses uh, from Super Danny's repertoire, it's now time to go back to Mega Man 2, 3, 4 and face bosses from there. The first the stage of Wily's second castle is basically uh, the first stage from Wily 2 in Mega Man 2. Be specific. Beginning, we have all these cannon joes and all these flies. Really though, and one of the nice fun things you can do is by using Quick Man to jump over this. You can in fact skip most of these enemies if you're really careful. Like shown here, you can ignore most of these as long as you're pretty careful of how the enemies come. Just be cautious of not getting hit by these. This next segment caused me a bit of trouble uh, because of the arcing of these shotmans. As long as you're a bit careful uh, and use stuff like fireman's weapons, it's not too bad. Originally in this section we didn't actually have these time bombs and had to use item 2 to get over there. Now let's replace with all these tellies. And yep, that's stage one. And now we face against the boss that most of us remember. Now instead of facing off against him with Quick, quick Man, aka his weakness, I decided to go classic and face him off with Mega Man. And yep, as the sequence suggests, here's the Mecha Dragon. The fight against Mecha Dragon happens exactly the same as before. His weakness is the Quick Boomerang. And he has absolutely no invisibility time, so keep wailing about him. In fact, he's even more pathetic as in eat normal difficulty, he can have five shots and, and a quick movement at the same time. So yeah, as easy as before. Even easier. He's more of a challenge in hard mode due to not having the five shot utility. With that out of the way, it's time to move on to the second stage. And in this part, we're going into the sewers of Wily Castle 2. And this takes heavy inspiration from the third Wily stage from, from Mega Man 2. Though I say it's a little bit more challenging in the sense that, in several segments, as we'll see here, you must use Bubble Man to progress. As no other World Master will be able to take you above these spikes. Just quickly jump as fast as possible as you, as you hit the water. This, these spikes are just teaching you that you must use Bubble Man to get past a few of these problems. Even with Bubble Man though, some of these segments are really killer. I didn't want to take any chances with these jumps. For quick you can get these uh, items. I decided to want as many D-Tanks as possible, especially for the latter segment of this game. Oop, make, be careful that spike drop, and it, after this point you must use Bubble Man. Be cautious of these gaps, as all these giant fish will rush towards you. being really cautious so I don't skewer myself, as the swimming can be a little bit finicky. More of these frogs. 
in this segment, you can you can actually do it with ignoring Bubble Man in several parts, but I strongly suggest it's using him as it's much more fun to get through here. And yeah, as illustration, don't be careful with these jumps, as if you don't have Elect Man or Quick Man equipped, you won't be able to make it. And if you want a safety net, just use Bubble Man. Though the problem is that you have to be a little bit careful with how the bubble that arcs its shots, especially with these dive nets. Here I was trying to recharge some of the weapon energy, but then I realized that it yeah, I just wanted to take a chance for later. That was for the next boss, as I before had quite a bit of difficulty with him. But with that, here comes the boss. Make sure your crash we man's weapon energy is at max, otherwise you will not be able to defeat the boss in this one take. And here's the boss. It's the blue beam traps from Mega Man 2. It's a little bit of a different setup, but to be careful, in order to defeat it, you must have full weapon energy. The first, uh, your first the crash bomb should be in the center spot over there, on the top left, and and they can only be damaged by these crash bombs, so they inherit that trait. I really wish they had a second weakness, as it causes some problems. As until until I realized you could, the crash bomb had enough range to destroy those two blocks in the upper left, I thought there was no way to do this without dying once. As if you die, you'll be sent back, but the problem is though, is that the, your, your weapon energy will not be refilled, the boss will respawn, but those blocks won't be there. And unlike the original game, you're sent far back enough so they can farm weapon energy. But other than that, he's not too bad. Though still as annoying as last time. Now it's time to climb up the Wily Tower. Interesting enough, this is the first musical track that outside of the, the mainline classic series from Mega Man 1 to 4. Now we're taking cues from Mega Man 9. As this is the Flash in the Dark team from Mega Man 9's Wily Stage 1. This stage is focused much more on close quarters combat and spike drops, so you, know, you should master Elect Man's and Quick Man's movements for this, as normal jumps are much more precarious when not using them. Like these segments, especially with these ladders. Oh, I can, I can attest to how many times I've died while using Metal Man or Fire Man or Super Dandy himself running out of the jump height, especially with the lower reaction time. Oh, uh, this segment. You have, to be, you have to be quick on your feet, otherwise you'll fall to your death. But using Quick Man can really trivialize part of these segments, and instead of having to use Super Danny in this difficult jumps. I decided I wanted to take care of these shield attackers first so I wouldn't get knocked off. Or at least one of them. I noticed another right armor coming up, and I wanted to take out these blue blue, these blue bats. Here's an interesting section. We need to hop on these uh, bomb traps, and we need to hit these at a certain time while avoiding all these sniper gels. Or should I say burst fire Joe and sniper Joe? It's a pretty easy segment, but it's pretty nice. Though it's much more devious on hard mode. 
Speaking of which, I don't think I'll be doing hard mode of this game in a recent time as it makes it even more frustrating to go through, especially as we can't use any of the upgrades like the energy balancer, or my favorite, the 5 shots and quicker shots. I may do it at a later date, but um, dubi it's dubious I'll do that. Oh, this segment. This also caused a few problems. But really though, the segment that results my dad is coming right up soon. This segment. Jump cut over that. You're supposed to jump over these blocks, similar to the Cloud Man stage in Wily Castle 1, stage 2 of this. But if you jump too high, you can easily kill yourself through skewering, which is what happened earlier. Be really careful if you use the Lightman or Quick Man as you can jump high enough to actually kill yourself. But we're reaching near the end of the stage. A lot more precarious internal combat. Pretty nice. If you like the progression, the first stage was the entrance, second stage the sewers, the third stage now climbing up in these close quarter combat spike drops and pits. And now we're moving on to the boss. Oh, this is kind of a jerk move. With that, just taking stock of inventory, making sure I have everything I need, which I do. And now it's time to face against the boss. After a short delay, it's Yellow Devil Mach 2 from Mega Man 3. He fights the same way as the old devil in a sense. Just wait for his eye core to open up, and then use the uh, use the thunder beam from uh, Elect Man or the Elect Beam specifically uh, for maximum damage. No pause trick like in Mega Man 3, so you need to trudge through it. Though thankfully, unlike Mega Man 3, at least you have E tanks. I always switch from Mega Man to uh, to Elect Man as Mega Man has more defense. And that's what I strongly suggest, in between the segments, so that you can, even if you get hit, you'll take less damage. Once he opens his eye up, then switch to like that. Rinse and repeat, and he's pretty good. As, if you can get his pattern down, it's pretty easy to actually perfect run him. But with that, he's down. While well, stage 3 of Castle 2 is down. In the next part, I'll be completing the second half of Wily Castle and completing the game. Thanks for watching, viewers, and have a nice day! Doodles!